Here we're going to look at a common problem, and that's to figure out which ball was hit first. This comes up when, say, you're playing eight ball, you need to hit the 14 or the 1 first. They're too close together, and you have to figure out, after the shot, which one was struck first. See what you think here. Which one do you think I hit first? Well, that was too fast for anybody to see, but if you back up and think about it, the cue ball came off this way. The only way that can happen, shooting right between them, is for the cue ball to hit the one first. It then goes across the 90 degree line, as always, towards the 14. That hits the 14 on this side, and the cue ball comes this way. So without even being able to have your eyes that fast, you can tell which way, which one was hit first. In super slow motion, you can see this shot is a really close call, but it does hit the one first. As Bob mentioned, you can tell by the motion of the cue ball. Here the speed and motion of the one ball is another indicator. The cue ball has more speed when it hits the one ball, so the one ball goes a lot farther. Okay, let's suppose they're a little further apart. Now I'll see which one I hit first. 14 or 1? Well, again, that was much too fast for you to see directly. So what must have happened from this situation is that the cue ball ended up going in that direction. If the cue ball had hit the 1 first, then it hits the 14, but because they are separated by so much, the cue ball will hit the 14 on this side and go this way. On the other hand, if it hits the 14 first, it hits the one ball, but on this side, and then it goes that way. So in that shot, it hit the 14 first. Here you can clearly see the action of the shot in super slow motion. But again, we don't need high speed video cameras to tell us which was hit first. The cue ball deflected off of the one ball second, sending it back towards the 14. So we clearly know what was hit first, the 14 ball. Okay, here's the third situation that's in between the two we've been looking at. I'm placing them so that the three balls frozen together form a right angle. I'll bring the cue ball back. Now see if you can tell which one was struck first. Well, I can't tell. In that particular situation, because the balls are sitting like this, if the cue ball hits the 14 first, just barely, it'll come at the right angle and go exactly straight into the one ball and stop dead. If it hits the one ball first, it goes straight into the 14 and stops dead. And again, you can't tell which one was first. In that particular case, you saw the cue ball went forward, which was simply due to some follow that I had on the cue ball. Also, if you noticed, as the balls went around the table, they were going at the same speed. So you can't tell from the speed of one ball or the other which was struck first. So on that shot, it's impossible to tell. So you have to assume that no foul occurred and the shooter gets to continue. Here's an example stun shot where the 14 ball is hit first. But again, because of the 90 degree angle, both object balls get the same speed and the cue ball stops dead in place, so it's impossible to tell with the naked eye. Here's another example where Bob managed to hit both balls pretty much at the exact same time. Even with high speed video, it's impossible to tell which was hit first. But as you can see, the action of the shot is the same as with the previous example.